I wanted to make this video to walk you through exactly what you can accomplish with Automator, the new plugin by Tricycle AI. And it's pretty powerful. I mean, you can literally do anything. And so I've solved one of my own challenges where a month ago I was actually really considering spending you know, upwards of a thousand dollars to find a developer to help me build this plugin because I thought it was really valuable, thought people would like it, and I knew that it would help my own workflow a lot. And now I was able to build it in Automator in just a couple of hours, really. And a lot of that was just trial and error and learning how everything worked. So here is how this works. So the context is, let's say that I have this left panel here and this is part of the Maven student sign-on experience. And that panel can take a ton of different states. Um, and that can be you know, multiple instructors. It looks a little bit different for auth versus uh, checkout. Um, maybe an instructor doesn't have an image. But I do really want a base component for all these because it's a pain to have to make all these changes um, in every place. And so like, if I wanted to make the the spacing a little bit wider, I should be able to do that right here and have it reflect everywhere. And so that's the power of using a base component. How that would normally work is I would create the panel. I'd have to turn this into a main component. Then I duplicate it twice, turn these into new main components. and then combine as variants, and then I would change the properties. It doesn't apply as much here because it's a course panel, but a lot of times this, like I would say 90% of the time, this ends up just being default and hover because I want to show the basic interactive component of, of what this can look like. Now with Automator, all I have to do is Automator base, and it will automatically generate a new component. It takes in the name of that component to make this base course panel, which I actually didn't even do up here. I should have done that. Then it creates the two variants. So you can see I have the base course panel nested under both of these. And then I have my states default and hover. And then that is combined as variants with my properties already here. And I even sets the auto layout component to, to use, or it even sets the, the parent component to use auto layout as well. And just like that, I have my course panel with everything that I need. Uh, and I can start making my overrides. Um, like, let's say I want to hide the logo, for instance. And then as I create new variants, so if I just hit command D on one of these, this new variant here, I can move the loom controls is automatically going to have the base course companion course panel nested within it and you're totally good so I just want to give you a little taste I think it's pretty awesome and I'm very excited to uncover a bunch of different use cases that you can build thanks Jordan